We're pleased to confirm that Aston Villa's third annual Acorns Day raised over £200,000, exceeding last season's total and providing the vital funding that will run an Acorns Hospice for one month. Lots of fundraising activities for our official charity partner, Acorns today, Villa versus Stoke, and there's a special feel-good factor around the ground. Two men who've played their part are Kevin Thornton and Kevin Thornton, <laughs> father and son. Uh, Kevin, let's start with you. Just tell us uh, how you've come to be here today. Uh, I've, seen the, I've seen the advertisements on uh, the website. It was on about they can, um, you know, once their lifetime package, be experiencing what it's like on a match day. I mean, we're always set up that end, we are. We have you in as good as this, but. And I want to support the uh, Acorns Trust as well. Yeah, and, and you bid over £250 to be sat here with your son, and, and I gather your other son's a mascot, yeah, so a mascot. you really have got all angles covered. Yeah, he's a mascot today as well, he's, so yeah. he's going to love it. It's a right family thing today, it is. The Premier League game against Stoke marked the third occasion that the club has dedicated a home match day to a series of events in aid of our official charity partner, the Acorns Children's Hospice. The club exceeded their £100,000 target and this total was then matched for the third successive year by Villa chairman Randy Lerner and the Villa board. Villa's players made donations while their matchday shirts from the game against Stoke were auctioned on eBay along with rare items of memorabilia. The club's official vehicle supplier Fiat and guest Fiat Alpha of Wolverhampton offered a Fiat 500 as a winner car prize with all proceeds going to Acorns. Oh, and Delph rolls around his man. Chance to pull this back. Benteke! <laughs> Chief Executive of Acorns, David Strudley, was at Bodymore Heath Villa's training HQ at the official Czech presentation, along with two Acorns families, manager Paul Lambert and Villa Chief Executive Paul Faulkner. Every year, without any changes to the plan, it's just got bigger and bigger. And that has to be the coming together of the club, with its fans, with all the, all the staff here, and every player has made his contribution as well. It just is fantastic. And just to clarify, this amount that has been raised is enough to run one of your hospices for a whole month. That's right. Yeah, what a thought. It's an amazing thought. I mean, the, the, there are two ways to look at this. You know, the, this can either be the kind of things that we want to do uh, by reaching out to the community and all that sort of thing, the stuff we've been talking about now for a year or more. Or, exactly as you say, it allows us to run the hospice for a month and then think of other things as well. Just fantastic, you know, absolutely wonderful. Paul, oh, you must be a proud man. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, any time uh, you know, we, we come together and do things for Acorns, it, it's great. And to raise you know, over £200,000 this Acorns Day is, uh, is great. And uh, you know, it, it doesn't surprise me because time after time, you know, the fans, the players, you know, the staff uh, dig deep and they come up with all these great ways of raising funds and they do it for Acorns and they do it because, you know, over the years it's just, you know, it's touched us and uh, anyone who's ever come into contact with Acorns for whatever reason, you know, it touches them and uh, we're very, very proud of the, the connection we have. We're very proud of being able, you know, to help and support and to play you know, a small part in, in helping people like David and his wonderful team do their job. That's all we're doing. We're, we're helping them to go and do the hard work. Raising the money is great. In a way, it's easy. It's the job that they're now able to do, which is the really humbling bit. And I think um, being able to help in, in any way, and, and certainly in this way, is, uh, is great. Mm -hmm.